Hi everyone, Grandpa Jake here. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm going to tell you about a long range modification I made for the Parrot Bebop 2 and Disco. And this uh, has worked really well. I'm in an area that has got a lot of residential area. I try to fly off to the side, uh, so I haven't taken it to its full extent. But I can tell you that as I was going along the other day, I had forgotten to plug in the amplifier. And I'm pretty far out, uh, the average uh, distance uh, that the parrot can go. And what happened is I noticed the signal was real low. So I realized I hadn't plugged in the amplifiers, popped it in, went from two bars to the full set of bars, and I was very happy to see that. And let me go over exactly what I did. And this again is for people that maybe don't have the money to go out and buy the full system from FPVLR, uh, and yet you still want to get a little bit more out of your your system. And what I did basically is, if you can see this here, I, I took a standard controller and I modified it with basically two 4 watt amplifiers and uh, I'm using two antennas from FPVLR. These were off of my um, 3DR Solo. And what I decided to do is to cut them off and to mount them onto these amplifiers because I have another um, antenna system for my Solo so I didn't want to lose everything. And I use that and it works just fine. But what you can do is basically, um, I took, like I said, their antennas. You could buy when it comes to the antennas, an antenna like this. This is a, a directional antenna. <coughs> Excuse me, I believe this is a, a 10 dB antenna, but this can't be used directly on here because it's got a 150 degree uh, signal um, direction. You want something that has a 60 uh, radius so that it's basically focusing in the area that you're going because when you look at your little um, uh, radar on your um, iPad or your smart device you'll see the direction it's going so you want to have some control of that so that's why you want a very directional antenna but they do make these in 60, um, 60 degree uh, signals so just make sure that when you do uh, go for an antenna if you don't use these that you go ahead and find something like that but make sure it says 60 so what I did basically is what you see here is minus the antennas is just under a hundred dollars and I'm going to list all my items that I've got here and I'm going to leave it up to you to find your antennas unless I can find the exact one to show you um, that's the only thing you're going to have to do on your own you're going to need to have some ability to solder and have some patience because it is very uh, detailed. Not hard, just you got to be careful because you don't want to short your antennas at all. So basically what I did is if you open this up, you're going to see four ceramic Wi-Fi antennas. One here, one here, one here, one here. What I've done is I removed the top two. As you can see, my amplifiers are up in that general area. The bottom two still have pretty good access to um, extending out. So if you follow that, I have them coming out right here. And I'm going to again show you exactly what items I used. And all you need to do that is remove this rubber seal that's around your controller. There's a number of screws. Once you pop that out, there's two connectors you're going to take apart. Go ahead and carefully just look at the pictures I'm going to include. Um, at the end here, I'll, I'll put it on the video, but pause it at that point so you get a good look at exactly how I have things positioned. I'm using a 3S battery, and I am going to put a switch in here. But let me just show you. If I plug this in, and I turn the controller on, in a moment, you're going to see, right now you're just seeing the red lights light up on there. In a minute, you're going to see the one side, the transmitter side, start going uh, a green flashing light which I think you're seeing now and I'll just give you a close-up but again I'm gonna take some photos and I want you just to freeze them at the end so you can see exactly how I have things mounted so let me turn this off and unplug my amplifier but with the switch in there it'll save from having to 
plug it in, plug it out. But um, it works well. Uh, I don't know exactly how far I went away. I got about two miles um, and still had very clear video. When you get out to the, the fringe of things, you want to make sure you've got a couple extra bars because as you turn, some of the signal will change. So you always want to have a good signal. But I got to tell you, I sent it out on a fairly long autonomous mission and I was going over these woods that are near my home and at one point I did lose signal, continued on its mission, came back around, I could hear it in the distance, it uh, resynced with the controller and everything was perfect. But I had already planned a, a landing spot just in case. So uh, it worked really well. So I hope this helps any of you that want to do this but don't have the money to pay um, for a full system because this does work and it works well. And actually I'm giving you a link to the same um, the same amplifiers but from a different supplier. I paid just under sixty dollars for the two amplifiers. He must have gotten a lot of business and he raised it well over a hundred dollars. I'm going to give you a link that's going to bring him down to about the same price I paid which uh, is going to be fine. Again you need a little bit of ability to solder and um, a little mechanical ability to put it together. One other thing I want to mention, well two other things. I want to tell you about a battery and I've done a couple reviews on it. I bought a battery from a company called, I believe it's um, Upow, Upow um, on Amazon and this is a 3100 milliamp battery so it's a little bit stronger than the 2700 it completely fit perfectly I don't see any physical difference on it and um, it worked well they do give you a red and white sticker if you want to differentiate between the two or just leave it off and it'll be black so it's your options but the batteries worked well I've got about 10 flights on it no problem at all. The other thing I wanted to say, and I don't know, it's not related to this flying at all, but it is related to the 3D goggles. I don't know if anybody has done this, but if you put your smart device in here, go to your app store, whether it's um, iOS or, or Android, look up the 3D virtual reality. It is so much fun. You can actually put these on and you can utilize the 3D by the you know two separate windows and you can go on roller coasters it's unlimited on what's out there and that's all free so check that out I was on looking at the universe yesterday and it was cool I'm going all over like this my dog thought I was crazy my wife wondered what the heck are you looking at and um, it's fun so it's just a little added feature uh, that you can use these for. So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, I'm going to again try to give you some descriptions on how to do it. Uh, unfortunately as I was going along I didn't take too many detailed photos. It's not hard. It's basically like I said once you pop it apart you have two antennas at the top that you're going to just unsolder and pop out. Your little pigtails are going to go in there. They're going to come out the frame and then from there just follow the the description that I'm going to show on my photos and you should be okay. So I hope this helped everybody. If you have any questions, and again it will work for the Disco as well as the, the Bebop too. You take care. Bye bye now.